up guys, my name is Penguin, and today, if you read the subtitles, you will be know, I am talking, you will be know, I'm talking about teachers. Yes, you know that I'm talking about teachers, and, um, I have graduated elementary school, which is, it's, it's, it's okay, I guess. It's just there, I guess. Um, I'm excited about going into middle school, but I'm gonna do another episode of middle school, maybe sometime in the future. Maybe when I'm actually in middle school. I don't know. Um, oh wait, when you're hearing this, I'm in middle school already. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, for the next couple of days, this series is gonna replace Zombie Apocalypse, because of course it's over. And, um, so, yeah, that's all I have to say. As you see, I got a really cool link poster behind me. Um, well, you couldn't see it because my face was blocking it. So, yeah, I got it a while ago, and I just thought you might, you guys might like to see it. I don't know. No addition to my room. I cleaned it up a bit as well. Um, anyway, let's get on with my teacher, Miss Pervitera. Blonde hair, a little bit taller than average, pointy lips. That's basically all that she looks like. Oh, and she has furry eyebrows, too. Strict teacher, doesn't take anything, and... Yeah, that's all you need to know about her. So, the first day of school, uh, well, not the first day, around the first day, um, I never did my homework. Never, not once in any of the grades. Fifth grade, I said I was going to start doing homework because I want to do homework for middle school, maybe. And, um, I did, and I was very lucky that I did because the teacher's nuts, uh, Miss Pervitera, and in middle not in middle school. In fifth grade, you switch between two teachers. And, um, I, ha I had Miss Pervitera and Miss D. Oh, by the way, why would you hire someone named Miss Pervitera? Especially as a teacher. Hmm. Chronic names aside, I didn't do my homework occasionally, as you would expect. Um, so I eventually didn't do my homework. And she went crazy. And, um, she goes crazy all the time. Or she went, I assume. And even my teach, my, my sister, she used to have Miss Bervatera. And she said that she was crazy. And, uh, then I told, I told Miss Bervatera that my sister was in your class. And she said that you were kind of strict. And then she said, I was going through some rough times. I don't know what that means, but I think it might be like a divorce thingy or something, maybe? So, she goes crazy. Uh, she flips out, Miss Pervitera. Um, and me and Kuril make jokes about her now. Um, we made, like, a little, eh, like, a reference that we keep on, that we say a lot. Um, it's literally just her, like, she has a Jersey accent. And this is what she says every time she gets mad. She goes like this, she goes like this, she goes... Are you serious? Are you serious? And yeah, we just recited that like five million times, me and Kirill. And we were laughing our butts off. Um, so anyway, um, what happened was she said that to me, of course. Gave me a note. And, um, the note specifically said, Homework is a reflection of what's done in class. So, here's my question to you, Miss Pervitera. If homework is a reflection of what's done in class, and I did it and got it right in class, then am, aren't I automatically supposed to get the homework right or something like that? So you're saying if I did a problem in school, let's just say five million times a billion, I don't know, uh, and I got it right, yay, amazing, uh, I go home and I have to do it again, and if I get it wrong, then I, I just fail? What? How does that work? That's like giving you the same problem twice to see if you understand. No, if I did it right in school, I definitely understand. My family hates her. My sister, me, my mom. My dad didn't know who she was. So I told him about her, uh, and I gave him the note. And he, he had some strong words, definitely, about her. So he wrote a note. Personally loved the note. And it's not, like, directed at, well, yeah, it's definitely directed at her but it doesn't say anything really bad about her personally hmm. so she, i gave her the note right when i walked into school 
And um, I went with my other teacher, and she was just like, oh, thank you, James. And she she didn't like me. It was very obvious she never liked me. And when I'm saying she never liked me, that's nothing compared to how bad she disliked Kirill. Kirill, Katie Holmes, he, she, she, like, hated him. And he, he did his homework less than I did. Did? Dud? Did? Um, and she just, she wanted to, she had that look in her eyes where she wanted to kill him, but she couldn't. Back to my story. I read the note. She didn't tell me anything about it. But for the rest of the year, I kid you not, she, she, like, she despised me. She didn't call on me. I I raised my hand for every single question. And I know jo I'm not joking at all. She picks me a lot. And she actually stopped picking me for a while because I knew the answer so much. And that that's I don't know, I, I took that as a compliment. Um, but then she literally she stopped picking me for like at least a month. She stopped picking me. She didn't even talk to me. She didn't look at me. I was happy with that. Good. Less work for me. And then parent teacher conference came along. Keep in mind, she still yells like a banshee. And every single day, she basically says, are you serious? And kids actually come to her class to punish them. So, like, the, you know when a teacher gets mad at you and she says, go to another class. They always go to Miss Pervetera's class because they send them to Miss Pervetera's class and that's hell because they sit by the door or they stand by the door I remember one kid he stood by the door and uh, Miss Pervetera stopped the lesson and she asked him what he did and he did, he said something stupid like I pushed a guy or something like that and um, then she said the famous line are you serious and um then she she yelled louder than I can imagine. She was like, "Get out right now!" And then she went crazy. She said, "Take a seat, filthy rat!" So she yelled every single day. And then parent teacher conference. Uh, I was too scared to go in a room. I didn't want to go in a room because she hated me, and that was definitely clear. And I never wanted to go there. And that wasn't part of the plan. My parents and my mom and my dad specifically said we weren't going to go there. And Anyway, they went there, and I was like, no! So I stood outside, I helped my teacher, Miss Trosos, uh, my other teacher, and, um, put away, like, papers and stuff, and they, they went in there, and they told me that she said this in her exact words. Okay, now this is the really dramatic part. They ask her, they say that my son says you yell at him a lot, and then, her response is unbelievable. I, I quote this directly from Miss Pervetera. Quote, 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 quote. I have never yelled at a child in my life. Are you serious? Are you serious? From that moment on, I never respected her. Ever. She hated me. I hated her. Voila. Story done. And actually, one more thing that she did say in the parent-teacher conference. Remember the note? I heard her say this one. She said that she had never, ever got a note like that from a parent. It was outside, in the hallway, behind a door, just like, yes! Like, that's an achievement get for me. Like, I don't know what else would be. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see another, well, I'm going to do this anyway. Too bad. If you want to see another uh, one of these videos, uh, leave a like or a comment uh, saying which one of these you want to do. You want me to do next. You want me to do part two of this story uh, about Miss Pervetera. Uh, another story about Miss Heffron, uh, my art teacher, who is Satan. I kid you not. And... Uh, another story about the best teacher in the world, Mr. B. Uh, comment down below which one you want to see. I'll see you next time. Penguins, assemble.